In a lot of video games, we can see the use of outlines either for enhancing the visual appeals of the game or for supporting gameplay by using it for selections and highlights around the objects. Now, there are lots of ways to give an outline to an object and one of the most common ways is to use an edge detection algorithm. Again, there are lots of edge detection algorithms too, but for this video I'm going to use Sobble's algorithm because it's easy to implement and very performant. Now, as a human, we can look at any image and tell where is the edge, but for a computer, they're all just pixels. What we need to do is we need to teach the computer what's an edge. Usually, what we see as an edge is just a significant change in pixel intensity between neighboring pixels. To get the intensities of the pixels, we'll grayscale the image. Then, we'll use something called kernel convolution. The kernel is just a matrix consisting of different numbers. When using Sobel operator, we need two kernels, X and the Y kernel. We use these kernels to scan across the image by multiplying its numbers by the corresponding intensity values of the pixels and then adding them together. That should give us the new intensity value of our pixel. Repeating this process for each pixel of the image should look something like this. You can see that the algorithm can clearly detect the vertical lines of the image, but the horizontal lines doesn't look so great. Well, that's because we're only using the X kernel. After using both the X and the Y kernel, then combining them together, should give us our desired effect. You may notice that the image looks noisy. That's because the Sobel operator is very noisy. But we can blur the image first before applying the filter and that should remove the noise. Also, we can replace the filter values of negative 2 and 2 with a variable to control the width of the edge. Additionally, we can calculate the angle of the edge using this formula, which can be really useful. Anyway, I would like to see our effect in action, so I made a small demo game. It's a simple 3D platformer with just one level. It doesn't really matter since it's a demo game to test our effect. The game has a secret ending though. If you want to play the game, it's available for you on itch.io. Alright, I hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.